are all aware that there is need to find different ways of enhancing mathematics education, research, and applications in Africa, because possible, given the limited resources, to do all this within existing institutional frameworks. So what I'll do, I'll simply mention a number of initiatives which have come up in Africa, which try to address this problem, and in particularly, in agreement with the theme of the current conference. There are certain initiatives I call larger than regional initiatives. In, in other words, they tend to cut across most of the regions in Africa, particularly sub-Saharan Africa. I'll start with the one called African Mathematics Millennium Science Initiative, AMSI. This initiative was formed in 2003 as part of what was called the Millennium Science Initiative, uh, initiatives which were being created around different parts of the world. It's a distributed network in the sense that it operates across different regions of sub-Saharan Africa. And there are five regions. We have Central Africa, Eastern, Southern. Western was divided into two zones to cater largely for the Anglophone and the other one to cater for the Francophone. I am the regional director of the Eastern and also the program director of AMSI. Central, we have Bichitong Ndombol at the University of Yaounde. Southern, we have Edward Lungu, University of Gaborone. Western Zone 1, we have Samuel Ilori. And Western Zone 2, we have Amidu Ture in uh, Ouagadougou. The main goal of AMSI is to promote mathematics in Sub-Saharan Africa. And we have a number of objectives which address research, teaching and education, ICT usage, linkages, and so on. And a number of the things which this program has achieved is that it has, over the years, that is up to 2009, awarded what are called research stroke visiting fellowships to enable mathematicians to take time away from their institution to visit a host institution. And I uh, you know a number of people in this room have actually benefited from this, uh, particularly uh, Daniel Professor McKinde did that. Then we also organize regional workshops in each AMC region, and we have organized four of those. Then also African scientific meetings. There have been two of them. One was on mathematical biology in Nairobi in 2006. The other one was the seminar on the African woman and mathematics which was organized in Maputo in 2008. In addition to this, AMSI offers postgraduate scholarships, partial postgraduate scholarships of up to $2,000. And uh, that was largely by the support of the Mellon Foundation. But the Mellon Foundation grant came to an end in 2009. From that moment, we are continuing to obtain funds from the International Mathematical Union. We have changed the mode of award this year, namely, from this year, the award is going to be given to institutions so that the institutions identify in a transparent manner the individuals whom they wish to give the awards. So for each region, we will give one institution the funds to give, to identify the postgraduate students they want to give those awards. And our plan is to do it on a rotational basis so that the following year we give a different university in the region. There is an announcement in the AMC website and also which has been circulated to a number of universities that the institutions which are interested 
should submit their applications by 31st August. There is a form which is already attached with the announcements. Now, another program which we have found useful is a collaboration between AMC and the London Mathematical Society through which conferences which are supported by AMC in Africa can have grants of up to 2,000 British pounds to enable postgraduate students travel to various conferences in Africa. And the application for this is through uh, to, 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 to the AMC uh, office, which is given there. You can also check at the, the website. Another project which is important is called the Mentoring African Research in Mathematics. The main objective of this is to provide mentoring relations between a mathematician and an institution in Africa. And uh, Balash is here, yes, I believe, yeah, yeah, he's there. He is currently operating in this with Masena University. This program was started in 2005 as a result of discussions between the International Mathematical Union and AMSI, and the London Mathematical Society was identified for administration of the funds. It's funded by the Nuffield Foundation from 2005 and the Leverhulme Trust, 2006. Basically, it involves a mentor from outside Africa who comes and interacts with an institution, a department of mathematics in Africa, and the results, that interaction can result in members of that department also visiting the institution of the mentor. So it's not just a one-way traffic. And in the process, we presume they will discuss ways of implementing research and enhancing other activities. To date, 14 institutions in Africa are involved. Um, some of the institutions represented here, Maseno, yes, Kenyatta University, University of Nairobi, uh, Ghana, right, Kwame Nkrumah University, and so on. Selection is based on expressions of interest, which are announced every year. Unfortunately, the initial phase ends in 2012, and John Elgin at Imperial College was selected by the MAM board to write a new proposal to be submitted for funding. In order to help him in that aspect, we thought that during the meeting at Kenyatta University on mathematics, which was held in June, it would be useful to have a MAM round table at which we would present the progress which has been made so far by the different institutions and also discuss the way forward. Professor Molongati was there and a number of you are there. The suggestions made were very useful and they have formed the basis of the current proposal which John Elgin is working on. They have had some major funding from Canada and from Google. Uh, there are some centers which were launched and others planned to be launched. Uh, perhaps uh, Professor Green can clarify this. I know the AIM South Africa was launched. Yeah, okay. AIM Senegal launched. AIM Ghana also launched next year. And Nigeria, okay. And Ethiopia. Okay, yeah. So you can see that all these, are, all these initiatives are meant to enhance the development of mathematics in the continent. Now, there's a project which is coming, which I should mention, is called the Africa Mathematics Project. This project was actually launched by the Simons Foundation in April this year. The funding modality it will provide five grants, each of 80,000 US dollars per year, 
for five years. Thereafter, there will be a, another five grants which will involve either renewals if the previous grants were successful, or if not, awards of new research grants for the same amount, that is $80,000 per year for each grant for five years. So we are talking in terms of about $4 million throughout the length of the project. The selection process is as follows. That is, Quest for Concept Papers has been prepared and is due to be released very soon. So what will happen, it will go out and research, researchers in different in universities who are interested will submit a request for concept papers. This will be reviewed by the scientific committee and those which are successful will be requested to submit detailed proposals for funding which should start sometime in 2012. Now there are also other initiatives which are regional in nature but involve more than one country. The Eastern African University's mathematics program was started in 2001 through 2002. Some participants at the regional discussion are here, Professor uh, Masanja, uh, Mugisha. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. In fact, the vice chancellor of Strathmore was one of the members, John Odiambo was there, at which the concepts were formulated. It is sponsored by ISP, Uppsala University, financial support by a number of other organizations, and it's also supported by local universities. Finally, there are many national, other national, regional, and international initiatives which try to do the same thing because of lack of time, I was not able to discuss them. But the question we may ask ourselves, should all these initiatives by, be coordinated by one body? Because such suggestions have been made that you have so many different things going on. Should we have an umbrella body? My first answer would be not really, because these initiatives address different in the, uh, Diff they, they address different aspects of research, education, and applications within Africa. Of course, it's important that there should be collaboration among them, there should be cons uh, partnership and consultation. But we don't, we, we are trying to decentralize uh, power. We don't want to bring everything together. We would like to have the different initiatives operate quite freely and generate funds in the ways they feel best. 